Hello everyone, in today's video we catch a night train from Plovdiv, Bulgaria to Istanbul, Turkey. Catching trains are always such a cool experience, so follow us on this journey as we cross the land border into Turkey. We are catching a night train from Plovdiv, Bulgaria to Istanbul, Turkey and I'm so thrilled to be going there. I think it's going to be something super different. So we've decided to go with the night train because we've booked ourselves a private sleeper and our train is leaving at about quarter past nine and it should arrive sometime about 5am. It really depends how immigration goes when we arrive into Turkey. Yeah, we're here kind of early and we're just waiting around for our train. The station itself is kind of empty. So our train actually leaves from Sofia and then it gets to Plovdiv a little bit later. So that's what we're just waiting for. We're going to have two checkpoints. So they'll want to see our passports when we leave Bulgaria, obviously. And then when we come into Turkey, they're going to stamp our passport. Our tickets costed us 28 USD each. And that is because we went with the private sleepers. And this is our first time catching a train in Europe. So this is a first experience for us. And it's a night transport, which also we haven't done in Europe. We haven't done this since Southeast Asia. So yeah, hopefully everything goes well for us but I'll keep you guys updated so to get to your platform we had to come up through this underground pass here oh it's going out of focus and what's cool about the underground pass is that there's actually lots of little stores down here which I guess during the day it will be more open but they have like some food stores clothing and just little knick-knacky things so I guess if you got here early in the morning, there would be food if you forgot to buy any. Super empty at night time though. So yeah, seems like there's quite a lot to choose from. We're on platform three and four, and then I guess down there you'd find five and six. So apparently there's gonna be no food on this train. So we bought some stuff from the bakery today and just some little snacks from the convenience store and we got a bottle of water from home. Wow, this train is super cool. It looks so old. Very retro looking. We just got on the train and it's a little bit loud so I hope you can hear me. This is our private cabin so I'm gonna give you a little room tour. <laughs> <laughs> room tour. We got so excited when the guy showed us our room because it's quite big. So up here is the bed. So I guess we have to pull it up using this handle. Oh god, and I'm gonna figure that out, my baby. This is another bed down here. So big. There's so much space. And there's some photo papers here. Yeah. And come inside, come inside. I want to show you the best part. <laughs> Rakia vodka. What do we have? We have Corona. Water. Oh, boring. We have some juice. Boring. And crackers. They gave us all of that food. We didn't actually buy those snacks. So well, it, comes the, it comes with a ticket. It comes with a ticket, yeah. And there's a little sink in here too. So we just got settled in on the train and the guys come around with some kind of document and we had to write down all of our passport information on it. So you had to write it twice. I guess one was for Bulgaria and then the other one was for Turkey. And the guy also has dropped us off some sheets here for our bed. So later on when we pull it out, I guess we'll set up our beds with these. And it's quite cool. They've got like a little desk here too. So I guess yeah. you can write while you're on the train. See if it's possible, yeah. Yeah, if it's possible to ride. <laughs> it's a bit bumpy. So we've got our bed all set up for tonight on the train. Comes with some nice fresh pillowcases. And we've got a blanket. This is my bed down the bottom. And this is going to be Carlos's bed. <laughs> yeah, even though we're sleeping together. but. <laughs> and then we have a power outlet over here to charge our phones. And there's no Wi-Fi on the train at all. But I think we should be fine until we get to Turkey. We've got data. Then at midnight, I think we should be going through immigration. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. Well, we don't really know, but probably around midnight. So, yeah, I guess we can just rest up now and wait till immigration. So 
we've just got into the Bulgarian border and tip for you guys you don't need to get off the train at the border because the border police come onto the train and they take everyone's passports all together so then I think when we get to the Turkey border that's when we'll have to get out and get our passports stamped by the border control there So we just got our passports back and from the time that they took the passports to the time that they gave them back to us it took 40 minutes and now we're back on the trains back moving again and we're heading towards the Turkey border. So if you're wanting to go to the toilet on the trains, there's two apparently. So one is a sit down toilet with a seat and then there's a squat toilet. So I decided to go with the squat toilet because personally I don't really like sitting on seats, especially on moving transport, they're not exactly the most hygienic. Um, and they do have toilet paper and they have running water so it was reasonably clean but of course it wasn't the most luxurious toilet. It's taken us 10 minutes to get from the Bulgarian border to the Turkey border so we're just about to check our passports now and go through immigration control. We just finished our immigration for Turkey and I think that went quite smoothly, much smoother than we were expecting actually. And they didn't ask us any questions, it was just easy, they stamped our passport and altogether it took 30 minutes so we had to wait in a line, the line wasn't too long. And then after you get your passport stamped you have to put your bags through a scanner and then there's a small little duty free stand. So yeah I think it was quite simple. It's currently 1am and all of the immigration Integrations are finished for us so now we can just sit back and relax and I think the train should arrive at about 5 a.m. in Istanbul and we heard on many blogs and vlogs that apparently the internet wouldn't work here when we got to the Turkey border but actually our mobile data worked fine so if you do need to show immigration something at the border it should work from our experiences but just in case maybe just screenshot all of your important documents if it doesn't work at the border. At exactly 5.30 a.m. we arrived at Hal Kali train station in Istanbul. So all up our journey took a total of 8 hours from Plovdiv to Istanbul. We were very tired on arrival although having a sleeper train in between all of the immigration checks and finally settling down to go to sleep we probably only slept a total of 3 hours. We had to sort out transport to our Airbnb as this station was very far from the city centre. There were no ATMs around to withdraw Turkish Lira from so luckily they had a small exchange booth which accepted my euros which I had in my wallet. So I exchanged about 35 euros and they gave me a good exchange rate. We then decided to catch the public train called the Marmaray towards the city center. In this case we purchased a local transport card called the Istanbul cart. It costs 10 lira or $1.64 USD and we topped up our cards $5. This was just enough to get to our destination. The Marmaray then took us 1 hour and 20 minutes. It was very crowded despite the footage showing no one. Moments later the train filled up just like that. So I do highly recommend you to exchange liras before catching the train to Istanbul so that on your arrival you will have some cash to purchase your Istanbul cart with. If you enjoyed watching this video make sure to click on the playlist above to continue watching. Gigantic. <laughs>